Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we'll never have to do this again, again, again. Hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are back here at Sanderbagger Sea. But since I am here, I might as well see what I can do about locating some of these species for you guys. Not only for the Fisherman Fishing Planet, but also for Fishing Planet Classic, as they definitely cross-reference each other. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here at this lake in a lakes location, and we're going to see about finding some tench. Now, I have a good spot here that I have marked quite a while ago. Managed to catch some trophy tench here. Supposedly there are some uniques here. And I've also caught uh, Prussian carp here as well. I want to kind of see if I might be able to find some uniques of them as well, maybe while we're at it. So since it seems to be a really good spot for it, might as well check it out guys. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Now I don't think the peaks make a whole lot of difference, but on this particular type of day, which is a partly cloudy, the peaks aren't very high, so I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. But to get to this location, you've got to go quite a ways, actually, once you start from there. Now, obviously, there's a sign there, but we're looking for a road. And there's actually two spots that you can fish from. And one spot is preferable over the other, honestly, because it simply gets you a little closer to the action. Okay, once you see this bench and that sign, you notice now there's a road here. We have to cross the road. Now you've got, you can either do one of two things. You can either go this way, or you can go this way. If you go this way, well, actually, it's a little further down more. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. This way. There we go. I get confused by that all the time. You're going to see a whole bunch of reeds here. Now you can either go on this side of it. As soon as you find the first open spot, there should be one of these little platforms. And now you can see my markers out there. You can either put yourself right here, or you can either go to the other side, which is really your preference, honestly. I kind of like the one over here a little bit better because it seems to be a little bit closer to where I'm marked. As you can see. And the reeds don't really get so much in your way. Now, where we're fishing, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put my rods down. We're going to be fishing really anywhere in this location. But if we take a look at our map here, here's what I'm talking about. I've got three markers here. That's not too many. Gosh, bless it. Can't get the thing to zoom in just a little bit there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Here I've caught Prussian carp, night crawlers. Early morning on a sunny day, so that's not going to apply too much here. Let's see, most of these are sunny mornings. But they were on peak, so that does give us a little bit of a assistance there. Now there I got a trophy tinge. And leeches seems to be the best ones to use for these guys. Either that or crawfish cut if you're earlier in the game. One of the things about using those two baits too is it singles them out. You're not going to get, you know, you could use some of the other baits, but you're going to probably get the carp. With those two baits, you're going to single out the tench. So, here's the coordinates. I'm uh, going to go ahead and save them. I'll pop them up on the screen as well. 1477.24, 178.02. Probably only need that, even though there's three markers, because they're all pretty close together. Alright. 
Now the other marker I have is over there. Now that's where I caught the Prussian car. And since I've got one of my rods is a carp rod, I'm thinking about trying to fish for one of those guys as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this one out. Now, I usually use like a 2 aught or a one aught carp hook. And I'm trying to use these one aught hooks for the tench. You can use a number two or number one, but you might get the smaller ones. This is kind of singling out the trophies and hopefully the uniques. And I might do a little float fishing with some crawfish cuts, see if I can't get some tench that way. So we're gonna see what we can do here, guys. Let me go ahead and throw this carp rod out here. Or not the carp rod, but Oh well, yeah, yeah, we'll do the carp rod first. It doesn't matter, I guess. I'm gonna put this one on the first part of this rod pod just so Now, like I said, anywhere in here is probably good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right where I caught the last one. And the second one. Well, well, we're already getting the bite. I'm going to put it a little closer to the reeds just to see if I can't find anything over there. And we got us a persistent one right here. He's He keeps coming back. So we've got a couple of them biting here. This one seems a little more earnest. There we go. It is a tench. And it is a personal record, a trophy tench. Like I said, I have not caught a unique here yet. I haven't really been focusing on them so far, but... We are now, guys, because... All the species deserve some love. <laughs> a little bit of attention for them all. Let's see what we got on this one. Now that's just a regular tench. He looks bigger for some reason to me. Maybe because I'm holding him up higher? I don't know. Let's see. But really, they're not hard to catch. They're They're not hard to catch, they bite quite often. The trick is just finding the big ones. Yeah, they definitely seem to be holding up the regular tench more so than the trophy ones. I think the tench are so pretty. Yeah, a lot of my European friends, they really like the tench to fish for them, so I figure I'd better show them some love, too. Haven't really even had much of a chance to get out my float rod. Ah, now we got something on the carp rod. Nice. Ooh. Be kind of interesting to see what this is. Seems to have a little bit of oomph to it. Now, this could be just about anything, honestly. I mean, carp grow. A lot of carp go for. Yep, it's a leather carp. I've been getting a lot of leather carp over here. Yeah, the tench come quite often. We 
just gotta figure out when the best time it is for the unique ones. And see, in this game, we get eight coins for unique ones. Yeah, I'm gonna put this back over here again. Alright guys, I am back. I wanted to let you know that I afforded time a little bit because it was around 9 a.m. Probably the lowest point for the middle of the day for the peak. I just want to see if there's going to be a little bit more activity as it goes into a peak. Plus we've also got the night time which doesn't look a whole lot better honestly. Peaks here are kind of, kind of weird. They're not very pronounced. so. But it's looking to me like the best time is going to be between 6 and 8 p.m. And then at night, probably between 3 and 5 a.m. Now, when I've caught these in the past, the best were always sunny days. So we don't have any sunny days for quite a while. So we're working at a bit of a disadvantage there. All we can do is work with what we have. Now it seemed to be biting whether it was, you know, whether it was a peak or not. I just want to be able to make sure you guys can get the opportunity to possibly see a, a much bigger fish. And I'm thinking we might have that opportunity. Look here. This has got this guy's got some serious resistance. And there he is. And there he is. So this was at 6 p.m. Caught our first unique tench, as you saw. That was my personal best. Six bait coins. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's take a look at this guy. Look at this fellow here. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. Five pounder. Almost, well, actually, a six pounder. I'm very happy with him. Get a picture. Oh, let's get a better picture here. There we go. That completes our uniques for this guy. I'm going to throw this back in the same place. Wouldn't hurt my feelings to get another one. Now, I'm going to take this to 60 inches. Tench tend to be deep. And just not getting that many bites off of it that sh shallow. Ah, done too early. Gotta be kidding me here. That is probably a young common. Not the young mirror. Yeah, we finally got this guy. Oh, about time. Kind of want to see what we got here. There you go. See, they do go for the crawfish cut. This guy is persistent. Lots of tench here, guys. Lots and lots of tench. Of course, you know it's all going to happen at one time. Okay, 
let's give us a little slack and we'll check this one out. Okay, there's a Prussian carp. I'm trying to get one of those. And yet another tinch. Well, I was hoping to get you guys another unique, but I don't think it's going to happen here. Two in one day, probably not likely. Unless it was a sunny day. There is another place for the Prussian carp. I might have to do that in the next episode. I'm getting them here, but I'm just not getting anything bigger than common size. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Because this is a big fish. I think we've got some kind of a major carp fish going on here. Yep, common carp. And we got another one on number one, which is probably another tinch. I'm thinking a trophy at least. Yep. But I think we have definitely seen just how many of these tents are over here. I'm going to show you just in the time I've been over here how many I have gotten. Quite a few. And quite a few common carp here and there, leather carp. But here it is. Let's see. No, that's the big head carp I caught much earlier in the last episode. There he is. Unique tench. Take a look at him. And there he is. Nice looking fish. I was hoping to get two of them, guys. I couldn't get two more. I did manage to get quite a few trophies, though, as you can see. Got them off again off leeches and blood worms, believe it or not. And occasionally the crawfish cut. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. If you have anything else you want to see, guys, let me know. I'm going to see if I can't find the location where the unique Prussian carp can be found. Obviously, this is not it. So we're going to try elsewhere. Anyway, guys, until the next episode, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.